Hey, this is Keith from 3 Day RV. Welcome back. This week we're going to be talking about tire pressure monitoring and the safety of running your tires at the right pressure. I use two different methods on our trailer because I've been beta testing the onboard tire pressure monitoring system that GMC offers with their Pro Tow package. My backup system is what came with our RV. When we initially bought this used, it came with the tire sensors already inside and they're the hub style that look like a giant hose clamp and they go on the hub of the rim and they measure temperature and pressure. It's fantastic. It didn't have the monitor and I went out and bought the monitor at Techno RV out of Tennessee and the little monitor looks like this. It has about a 20 hour battery. It's incredible. It updates uh, within just a few seconds. I think it's 15 seconds that it uh, updates all of the data from tire to tire. Pretty fantastic. Uh, Techno RV has these. I'll put a link in the description. I do have an affiliate link with this. I'll get a couple bucks if you buy one, but I'm not too worried about it. As long as you get some safety stuff for your uh, tire monitoring, that's all that really matters. So I have this on here, and if the onboard system doesn't pan out, I'm keeping this. So I have two sets of sensors in my tires. The other type of sensor that I have that doesn't talk to this, I got them off of Amazon, and they're actually an OEM um, trailer setup for General Motors trucks. And you mount those right on the wheel hub just exactly like your vehicle has on there. They mount right on the right on the hub, the valve stem. And then it integrates, and we're gonna show you how that works. You do need a little, uh, uh, what's it called, a, um, it's an exciter tool, and you'll go around to each tire, and you'll click this thing, and it'll make it pick up in the truck, and the truck will give you some type of signal that it measured it. I believe I read that the truck's supposed to honk. Mine didn't honk when it picked it up, but that's okay, I could see it on the display. So what I'm gonna show you is how to use both systems. And I'm also gonna show you that they're relatively close in pressure, temperatures, and updating times, which was really good. Uh, this monitor alone, I think, was right around 200 bucks to buy on Techno RV. And if you buy the sensors that marry up to this system, I believe they are on e-trailer, and they were about $65 a tire. Um, so that's why I'm doing this, to show a couple different options. But the bottom line, you need something and I've had friends that had tire pressure monitors that have the little valve stem caps, and those have talked to this one as well. And the problem with some of those valve stem caps is the events already happened to your tire, and it will let you know, but it doesn't let you know always in real time or quickly, so you know you got a problem, and, and I hear sometimes it does. But at any rate, let's get started. I want to show you the difference in both types and how easy they are to use. So at least you get something in the plan to put in your tire and uh, keep, keep track of everything going down the road. So let's get started. So here's the Amazon page to show the exact uh, wheel sensors for the GMC and the Chevrolet truck. Sorry, Ram guys, this was not not the ones for you. And I wanna show you the actual uh, programming tool. This is what excites the wheel sensor so that the vehicle can pick up the signal. Uh, most cases, if you start rolling, they don't transmit till you start rolling. That's how they save the batteries. And this is where I got my tires worked on. Great Lakes Truck and Auto. Cool place if you're in Benton Harbor and need some service work. They do work on wheel bearings, diesels, all kinds of engines, transmissions. Good place. So what I didn't do was catch it on film, me taking the tires off the camper and taking it down to the place to get the sensors put in. If you do that, make sure you use all the proper jacks and be careful so you don't have your rig fall on you or just do two at a time. Either way, it'll work out. It's about 20 bucks a wheel. Okay, as I mentioned, I've already uh, programmed the trailer to this, but I'm going to blow these sensors away from the truck and I'm going to show you from step one how to program the sensors in, show you how easy it is. It was significantly easier when I had the tires laid out in the truck, in the truck bed, so that I had the front driver, rear driver, then next to it I had the front passenger, rear passenger tire. And then all I had to do was go to the truck bed and scan, and then I could see it say good, go to this tire, then I would go scan that tire and hit accept on it. And pretty soon I got around to all four and it was easy to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to blow this part away and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step setup on this uh, 2020 GMC Denali. I believe it's the same on the 2019s and up. 
The uh, newer ones, I believe the procedure is the same, but it's a little different because they have a much larger uh, screen here. So we're going to go into the trailer. That's the name of ours. Hit the pen. And then it's going to say towing assistant. Ah, tire pressure setup. Okay, so it's going to ask me how many do we have. Obviously, it's a tandem axle, so it has four. We hit next, and it says, oh, you've already done this. Well, I'm going to relearn them. So that's the next part. We're going to relearn these sensors using this tool, and I'll show you how easy this is. Okay, so we're going to hit relearn. And I've got the tool ready, so we're going to hit relearn. And it's going to say, have you already set up tire pressure monitoring for this profile? Would you like to overwrite them with current sensors? I'm going to hit relearn. And it's going to tell me to go with number one. I never heard my horn honk, but let's just go do this. So we're going to do driver's side front. We're going to go around it. So here we go. Yep, it says good. Go to the second one. Okay, so now it wants me to do the passenger side. Make sure each one is in there. All right, it's looking for one. So there it is, all four done. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, um, there is one step in here that I'm not showing you, and I wanted to go back to, here you go, edit recommended tire pressure. My tires are 80 pound tires, so I have 80 pounds in here. Um, I know that when my tire pressure dropped down, I think it was 75 or 74 pounds, then this alarm went off. And the alarm shows up on this side of the dashboard over here, and it will show up over here as well. So I tested that by just letting the air out. And when I let the air out of it, it went off just like one of the regular truck sensors do. So when you're traveling down the road, you don't see the sensors on here unless you put it on that screen. So you'd be cruising along, you could have your maps on or your car play, navigation, or just having music play, whatever the case might be. But if you want to monitor those constantly, then you're going to go in and you're going to see where it says trailers, uh, status. That's the one. Status is going to show you the, the tire pressure at all times. And that's, you know, if you want to drive with us going down the road, you know, that's fantastic. And the last point I want to make is if you have 80 pound tires and in most cases you need to be running those tires at the set point. And if you start with them 80 and they're cold, it's going to build up about eight pounds of pressure because these will get some temperature rise as you're going down the highway. I start with mine about 74 pounds. And when we get cruising down the highway, we're running at 80, 82 pounds per tire. I've never had any issues with that. But I have had a wheel bearing go bad, and I wish I had this system on there because I would have saw it generating more heat. And that was on me for not, I couldn't catch the smoke. Thank God a guy passing by flagged us down. So anyway, that's how easy it is to set up on the GMC Denali. Um, if the Chevys are the same way. Ford has a very, very similar system. Uh, this particular truck has the tow package on it. 
So it has the little repeater radio behind the license plate of the truck and it transmits, it picks up the signal from the tires, transmits it up here. But you definitely need one of these devices that are on Amazon. I think this was 16 bucks on sale. And all this does is it excites the sensor to make it transmit. And you'll notice after you put these in, those tires won't transmit until you start rolling. So you'll get maybe 100 feet and then it'll start talking and transmitting. You'll see the pressures and temperatures update in real time. It's really good. But as they're sitting there, they stop transmitting to save the battery. It took me a little while to figure that out. But you'll definitely need this to get it rolling unless you might have another type of uh, transmitter that will make those uh, sensors fire. So at any rate, that's how easy the GMC is to hook up. So here's the Techno RV side. Now, don't get me wrong, this will work in any vehicle. It's easy to use, it's portable, you can have multi-trailers, just like the GMC version. So this is a good option too. It's not super expensive. However, if you do need the sensors, it's right around $70 a wheel, plus you gotta have somebody put them on. Okay, it is what it is. It's all about safety. This is the display that we bought for just over 200 bucks. Works fantastic. It's got about a 20 to 24 hour battery. And here's my affiliate link. You can scan this with your phone. It'll take you right to the page so you can check it out. It will also need a repeater. And that's what you see right here in the center of the screen. That's what takes the signals from the wheels and shoots it up to the truck where your display is sitting. So as we bought the uh, kit, the kit, all we needed was a display, and it's got a suction cup mount and a power supply, and that's pretty much all that comes with this. You will find a better deal if you have nothing at all to buy the entire kit that comes with the wheel sensors, the monitor, the repeater, the charging cables. Just get the whole kit. It's a much better deal right out of the gate. But some RVs come with the wheel sensors in them, brand new from the factory. Just check it out on your build, build sheet to make sure that you have the correct receiver. And finally, I want to tell you that they program exactly the same way. You have to set up your pressure ranges, where you want the alarms to go off. And the exception is when you need to learn the tire sensors to this, you've got to take the little handheld device around to each wheel, and you've got to hit the learn button, and it'll pick up the first tire, which is driver's side front, then the second tire, which will be driver's side rear, and you follow it all the way around. But it'll walk you through as it flashes yellow. It is easy to do. And once it's programmed, this thing can be on the window with the sucker cup or sitting in the console. doesn't matter. It's a radio signal. It's very solid. It works. Like I say, the hardest part is just running around, hitting the learn button. It's easy peasy. So what I wanted to do here was just show you both systems running so you could compare them. That's all I want to know is... Is the GMC unit going to be reliable for us? Will it? And if it doesn't, I'll keep the other one, but for 50 bucks, it's worth a shot. And it's nice having it on the dash. That's one less thing uh, on top of the dashboard that's obstructing your view. So I'm thinking safety-wise, the onboard system might be the better. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. We appreciate the thumbs up and like if you would, and we'll see you next week.